Welcome back to 430 B Street. Not only am I here to give you an update on B Street, but also to remind you that we can create the things that you may not quite see in your home. So after you walk in, this is kind of the main living space. We decided to vault the ceilings to give you this volume. This is gonna be the full kitchen here, island, the kind of bench seat dining table here, eight foot door that accordions and opens out onto this deck. And then kind of in this space here, that's gonna be your TV wall, couch, and table there. So this is kind of your big open kitchen, living, dining room out to your deck. So back here, you can kind of see the entire project. Garage and ADU being built there. This whole open space back here looks like big open space. Well, guess what? I decided I was gonna add an ADU over here at B Street as well. So that's an ADU that's gonna get built. And then this will be the yard for the back of B Street. Walking into the primary suite. So you have your own little entryway to kind of give it separation from the common space. We're likely gonna put slatted wood on the ceiling, again, to make it feel like a special place. Bed goes underneath the windows, two wall sconces, windows to the front, shower against the wall, vanity goes here. And then one thing I've learned in my years of doing this is that I like a private room for the toilet. So we had to make room for a pocket door so that the toilet has its own private room as part of the bathroom. Downstairs, you have two bedrooms, two full bathrooms, a garage, which might second as a living room down the line, and then access to all of outside. Bedroom number one, downstairs, nice big bedroom. Also, nice tall ceilings because we dug out the earth, if you remember that gnarly floor in the gym down here. And then what these guys are working on over here is the second bedroom, bathroom, and laundry room down here. So this becomes a laundry room here, and then, it's a little muddy down here still. This is the bathroom that will be accessed off of this bedroom down here, which then walks out to the backyard. So the primary bedroom's upstairs, but the guest bedroom's pretty sweet down here. Obviously, I love this part of my job. So much so that I make it a hobby that I do on the side. But here's the deal. The fact that I'm able to do this stuff makes me a better real estate agent and also makes me better able to help you when we see things that need a little bit or a lot of work. Stay tuned for the next 430 B Street update. Feels like